All right, hey Pisces. So I'm doing a ghosted set for you guys. Figured we would close out February like this and then start March fresh off with new energy. So this is for those of you who have been ghosted. Um, if this doesn't resonate, um, you're going to have to check your other placements, guys. The only way you're going to know this is I'm going to resonate with you is by the recent past. So if you don't connect with the recent past, you will not connect moving forward because the um, rest of the read is going to be based off your person's energy, their feelings, um, their actions towards you. So if you don't resonate with the recent past, it's not going to be your, your read moving forward, all right? So if you're new, Pisces, welcome. I hope you guys um, subscribe to my channel and take me with you into your future. Let's give it one more. And let's see what the recent past is for Pisces. The recent past for Pisces and the person that's on their mind. We have the Two of Pentacles coming out. So, yeah. All right. Here's what's happening, Pisces. All right. In the recent past or the past, um, I feel um, this, the world card comes out at the bottom of the deck as a suggestion that the cycle has ended. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, it, this has been, I feel, completely closed out. All right. Between you and this person. But you're here for a reason, you guys. Um, probably because it's not over yet. All right. In the recent past, I feel like you guys do have this soulmate connection. All right. And I feel like you're in this energy right now of, you know, WTF. Why did I even meet this person for it to end like this? Okay. With the devil card and the two of pentacles, I do feel like this person probably treated you like human garbage and they shouldn't have um, because that's a human garbage thing to do. All right. With the devil card and the two of pentacles, I feel like this person was juggling other energies. I feel like they did treat you like crap and they shouldn't have. All right. These are two um, strong um, uh, cards that, that just reek of you don't treat a person like you got treated Pisces. And for whoever I'm talking to, I, I'm sorry that you... Um, dealt with with this energy um i hope i don't start crying because i get emotional on these but um, i'm just going to tell you with the two of cups don't think that that energy is one-sided because it's not so it just kind of um it's, it starts to hurt a little bit and this is where i kind of get emotional because it's like um how could anybody that feels that mutual energy um treat you like shit? you know what i mean and i just feel like this person was horrible to you you guys um th like <laughs> dirt bag um, horrible. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. This person was a dirtbag to you. Um, they outright treated you like shit. I feel like you got cheated on. I feel like you got played by this person. Um, but the thing is, is that they felt d just as deeply about this connection as you. So why would somebody self-sabotage um, a, a beautiful thing, right? Let's see what this person's energy is currently. This person, wow. All right, so here's what I'm going to say. Um, I'm not defending this person, all right, you guys, but I am going to tell you that this person does carry a lot of shit from their past. I feel like they carry it around like in a backpack or whatever it is that can be placed on their shoulders. I feel like this person walks around with a beam post on their shoulders that's weighted down by everything negative from their past, all right? I feel like this is this person's energy. Um, it's almost like they don't know how to do anything but string people along when it comes to love situations because this person doesn't know how to love, okay? I feel like with the Six of Wands, this is the energy they are giving off to people. I feel like they are giving off this vibe, like they are happy in life, but I'm going to tell you this person's not. Um, it's a facade. This right here is the cover-up for the Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands. I don't know how to treat people, probably because this person was not treated good, Um by people in their past and they've just come into this energy of the devil like I got to treat people like like shit because that's all I've ever known that's how I've been treated so here I almost feel like somebody is taking um the past out on on all these new things um that come into their life so let's see what their situation is yeah this person
we have justice coming out so that tells me this person's situation okay here's what i'm going to tell you i feel like pisces you're coming out in representation of the king of cups okay i feel like the knight of pentacles is coming out this is this person's situation but here's what i feel all right, they're feeling the karmic burn. They are feeling the karmic um, justice, okay? Uh, they're, and this is not a good karma, I'm going to tell you that right now, but they're feeling this burn. Um, they had a wish fulfillment right in front of their face. What I feel should have happened or what the universal intention was is you were um, supposed to be a catalyst for this person to wake up. You are a wish fulfillment to this person, but they didn't treat you as such, all right? And I'm going to tell you this, no matter how you feel right now, the person feels the burn of you not being in their life right now. They know that they treated you like garbage. All right. And you're coming out as the wish fulfillment um, in this in, in this person's situation. Um, and with Justice card coming out, this is this person's karma. You are a karmic situation for this person. Um, all right. And don't take that negatively. What I mean by that is you... Um, essentially are, are going to be the, the catalyst for this person's change and shift in how they treat people. So let's just see why this person ghosted you. Why did this person ghost? They're very unhealed. They are very unhealed. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, I, this is what I feel. I feel like for why did they ghost? I feel like this is where they carry everything. They carry everything from the past and it's just always sitting right in front of them. Um, I feel like with the four of swords, this person's very unhealed in a lot of ways. This person doesn't know what self-healing is. They don't know what forgiveness is. They don't know anything about forgiveness of their, their wounds from the past. All right. This, they have so much healing to do, um, that it's like, they don't even recognize. All right. Um, they don't even recognize they they know when they're hurting somebody but it's almost like this person um it's like they don't give two f's all right with the three of cups i feel like that is a representation of other people being in their energy putting you last on the list and i feel like with the page of pentacles this is like this is a representation of um um their maturity level all right at the time um coming out as a page they have nothing to offer you it's almost like this person thinks so low of themselves that they know that they have nothing to offer you. And it's it's also, too, this mental state of mind where they need to do some re releasing and healing. Um, they haven't. So let's see how this person feels about you. We have the Seven of Swords coming out. All right. And I feel like the Seven of Swords comes. <laughs> it's not because of how they feel about you this is um, a representation of how they treated you okay with um the seven of swords this is lying cheating manipulation gaslighting this is a uh, um projection projecting this is everything negative in a card all bottled into one the seven of swords is a super negative energy and i feel like this is there this is how they feel about themselves this is how they feel about themselves the seven of swords this has nothing to do with you. This is how they know they are. They they know that they are like that. Um, with the world card coming out, it's like they know that they have to experience a change or a shift in the way they think and in their energy. Um, because um, for who they are right now, they recognize it. And they recognize you don't deserve somebody like that. You deserve somebody better. All right. Um, I feel with the five of swords, this is, um, you know, it's it's conflict. It's a battle, it's war, and I feel like this is one they're waging within themselves. All right, but also I feel like they want to reconcile the way they treated you. They want to reconcile how they dissed you, how they treated you. Um, let's just see how they feel about reconciliation. How does this person feel? Yeah. Um, they are super focused, or I'm, I'm just going to say, I, I don't want to say it's uh, a focus but look at judgment card shows up and that is um this is from the past this is the, the this is that ghost from the past coming back all right your angels is saying this connection is not over even if you don't want to be with this person it's not over because this right here you that you 
you're a karmic justice for this person. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm going to tell you this person's life is going to change because of you. Now it's going to be up to you moving forward if you want this energy in your life. But your team is saying, your angels are saying that this is not done. All right. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune card coming out, I feel like this person's going to come out of nowhere. They're going to come, they're going to show up out of nowhere. All right. Because um, what you've done to them. All right. It's probably far worse than anything that they've ever dealt with in the past. And it's just simply by you waking them up, um, you making them realize that they were um, a shitty human being. All right. The three of swords. I feel like you, the weight of this world, when it comes to you, Pisces, you're, you're on this person's heart. And I feel like they know that they messed up big time. Um, it, it, they've 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 done burned themselves is what I feel. So let's just see if this person is gonna reach out to you. Will this person reach out to Pisces? Yeah, look at that, you guys. So um, we have death card coming out. Um, this is the rebirth of this person's energy. That's the realignment. All right. I feel like this is just saying this, this, um, the full card is coming out um, because you, this person, this is a new beginning. All right. This person's, um, they've realized they're, they're working on self and you've made them wake up and realize um, who, what, who is they should be and who it isn't that they should be or who they shouldn't be. All right. I feel like you've given this person a new perception, a new lease on life. And I feel like you've, um, you've been the catalyst for them to work on themselves. And why am I being a POS? You know, I feel like you filled this um, person with all these questions. Um, I do feel like they are going to reach out. Um, but I feel like this is going to be totally up to you, Pisces, whether or not you want to move forward with this connection. All right. I do feel like it's, it's going to come to you, um, but you're the one that gets to decide. So let's just see what the next 30 days outcome is for this connection. The next 30 days, the outcome. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Yeah, you got two new beginnings coming in. Okay. Um, and either way you want to spin this is going to be up to you. This is your decision. All right. This is however you want to um, take this connection. All right. This is um, this this situation, if you look at the hands, is in your hands. That's what your angels are saying. This situation is is coming back around to you and it is in your hands. All right. Um, with the nine of swords, all right, the pains that you've suffered from the, the hands of this person, how they made you feel, the way they treated you, it's coming back around and you, you hold the outcome in your hand this time. All right. You get to make the decision and I feel like your angels, your guides, your team, this is, um, this is them speaking to you saying, this is going to be your win, your success. All right. Just stay in your power and your energy. Um, when this person does come back around, I almost feel like some of you could actually take a, a day or two before you even respond if it's a text or a phone call. Um, but the ball is in your court. The outcome is in your hand, Pisces. So I'm going to leave it right there, you guys. I hope that you will comment and let me know who is resonating with this. Um, I look forward to seeing um, updates too from you guys. All right, Pisces, love you guys.